For as long as I can remember, I have been raised as TB Joshua's daughter. Nobody ever know they thought it's my biological child. Until the passing of Prophet TB Joshua in June of 2021, it was widely known that he had only three daughters named Sarah, Promise and Heart. However, recently, a 28-year-old woman named Ajoke God's Will has come forward and claimed to be the secret daughter of the late religious leader. In the recently aired BBC documentary on TB Joshua that rocked Christendom, Ajoke joined former Synagogue Church of All Nations disciples to speak about the abuse she experienced at the hands of her alleged father. I couldn't even have an identity. That kind of pain cannot be put into words. Describing him as a monster, the young lady claimed to be Joshua had her out of wedlock and treated her as the single biggest threat to his reputation. Ajoke further claimed the late TB Joshua subjected her to constant humiliation, physical assault, and solitary confinement. The late cleric eventually threw her out to the streets with nothing but clothes on her back. I stared myself in the mirror a lot of the times so and maybe I do look like him, maybe. Unsurprisingly, the Synagogue Church of All Nations has come out to rubbish Ajoke's claims. In a video making the rounds online, the church claims the young lady was never the biological child of the late prophet but his disgruntled and ungrateful adopted daughter who left on her own accord. Even though Ajoke bears a striking resemblance to the late prophet, the church published a video of when she was picked up by the roadside after she was abandoned by her parents. Synagogue Church of All Nations leadership insisted that TB Joshua treated her like his own biological child, yet she rewarded all the love showered on her by trying to sabotage his reputation even in death. Ajoke. Ajoke is a very painful story by itself. Why? Because Ajoke was abandoned by her biological uh, mother, probably. But all these explanations and video evidence have done little to put the matter to rest. If anything, it has only left more unanswered questions. Many are asking, where is Ajoke's birth mother? Why is Ajoke convinced TB Joshua is her biological father? If she was treated like TB Joshua's biological children, why then did she leave and now speaking ill about him? Why does she look like his carbon copy if she is not his daughter? And of course, if Ajoke isn't the late prophet's daughter, then who is she? Will she come out again to debunk Synagogue Church of All Nations claim with hard evidence? Hello guys, it's t -Code here for African Glitz. I knew the child, Ajoke, right from birth. Nigerians would say that there is no smoke without fire. If this is any close to the truth, then Nigerians have been left with so many unanswered questions since the BBC documentary on the late founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua, aired on January 8, 2024. One is the paternity of Ajoke God's Will, a lady who claims to be the daughter of the late cleric who he had out of wedlock. While corroborating Ajoke's testimony, a few eyewitnesses confirmed that the late critic occasionally humiliated her and subjected her to various forms of physical assault. He, he didn't seem to like her very much. She was like kind of labelled the black sheep of the family. Ajoke, let it you. She did someone slap her. To ensure other people in the church also hate Ajoke, the late cleric told them she was possessed with evil spirits and should be beaten to set her straight. Ajoke grew inside the synagogue like an outcast. He hated her and he punished her for being born. Her existence was probably the biggest threat to his reputation. According to the now 28-year-old lady, she confronted T.B. Joshua for defiling his female disciples one day. He instead had her beaten, locked up in isolation, and was later thrown out to the streets. I didn't volunteer to be a disciple. I was made to join. Synagogue Church of All Nations Rebutal Days after the documentary aired, Wiseman Harry, the head of the Synagogue Church of All Nations of Thessalonica in Greece, called out Ajoke as a liar, perhaps from the pit of hell. Ajoke is not the biological child of Prophet T.B. Joshua with another woman as they claim to be. Explaining to the church how Ajoke came to be, 
Wiseman Harry claimed that Ajoke was an abandoned baby adopted by the church. The Greek disciple claimed to have lived with Ajoke during his 10-year residence at the Synagogue Church of All Nations headquarters in Lagos. According to Harry, T.B. Joshua found her days after she was born, abandoned under a truck close to the church. Instead of sending her to an orphanage, the late cleric adopted her and treated her like his biological child. So Prophet T.B. Joshua, as a loving father that he was, he took Ajoke as one of his children. He gave her documents, he gave her passport with his name on it, and he actually adopted her and making her his own child instead of him to, to throw her in the orphanage and send her, you know, for somebody else to take care of her. Wise man Harry flashed back to when Ajoke visited Greece for the holidays with other children of T.B. Joshua. So Prom is the second born, the original daughter of Prophet T.B. Joshua and Ajoke, they have the same age. Or maybe they have one year difference, but Anyway, so at a certain summer, Prophet T.B. Joshua asked me to take his wife, his daughter, Promise, and the adopted daughter, the orphan daughter, Ajoke, that was adopted by Prophet T.B. Joshua, to take them to Greece, to my country, here, for holidays. So they spent two good weeks. We took them to the sea, we took them to the Greek tavern, they enjoy the calamari and everything, they eat, they drink, they enjoy. So they, they really enjoy a wonderful life, both in childhood and also as they were growing. But Ajoki, by the time she entered the, the teenager years, when she became like 14, 15, 16 years old, she started, you know, as all the teenagers, she started misbehaving and sometimes Prophet will have to correct her. Sadly, even after much correction, the alleged daughter became rebellious during her teenage years. Wiseman Harry also debunked the delegation of Ajoke being imprisoned within the church, explaining that she willingly asked to leave. Nothing like imprisonment. Ajoke was moving always freely among all of us. She lived among the disciples. There was no imprisonment for her. All what they show is a pure lie. Before she did, T.B. Joshua yanked off his name from her passport, reinstating her birth name, Ajoke God's Will. At a certain stage, Ajoke decided to leave the church. She said, I want to leave, okay? You are free to leave, Prophet said. But before you leave, before you disgrace my name, let me remove my name from your passport. You understand? Because she will go out to say, I'm the biological daughter. But if Ajoke was just an abandoned baby, how did the late cleric know her birth name? If T.B. Joshua truly adopted Ajoke and treated her as his child, why did he let Ajoke leave? Would he have done that if Ajoke was his biological daughter? They can at any time do the DNA test and discover if she was a genuine child or not, but she was not a genuine child, biological child of Prophet T.B. Joshua. New evidence. Well, on January 17, 2024, Synagogue Church of All Nations Thessalonica published more revealing information on Ajoke on their official YouTube page. As mentioned in the BBC documentary, T.B. Joshua loves videotapes and recordings. He has recorded every important part of his life, including the day he started his ministry. You know? yeah. But I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't know where to start. We start from you first. You was here, my coming to your meet, in fact, uh, it's just to lay a foundation. I, I am here to lay a foundation. That's it. Now, today, we start snuggle here. This will also explain why he documented and kept footage of the adopted child and also filmed one of his ministrations with what looked like workers of the church and the day he introduced Ajoke and pleaded with them to see what they could do in their prayers to help Ajoke in any little way. I will begin to introduce 
the Ajoke here to you. Ajoke, stand up. So that you can come together, see what you can do in your prayer and help, okay? TB Joshua in the video said he thought Ajoke's case was what he could handle in his office, but it became imperative to let the church know about a case and what she was up to. Further in the video evidence, the late TB Joshua exposed Ajoke to his workers as his adopted child. Right there in the video was also the young lady looking scared and downcast. TB Joshua said Ajoke has a gift of influence on people and has begun using it to destroy their lives. The late prophet lamented that Ajoke had become too rebellious to the point where she had been stealing money in the British school of Lume, where he enrolled her. With everyone in his household witnessing the moment, he asked one of them to read a letter of plea in which Ajoke admitted to stealing 41,000 CFA franc in school. In the letter, the young lady said she was tempted and didn't want to be suspended. In another letter, she begged that the school not let her parents know about the stealing issue. But she was suspended regardless and the prophet was notified. T.B. Joshua claimed the school administrators were shocked that the pastor's daughter behaved in such a manner. This was when he revealed that she was not his biological child. Nobody ever know. They thought it's my biological child. I now show them the day we found her. This is a letter from the police from the government. When she was a baby, I took her to the police station and they were telling me, please, why can't you take care of this? Nobody will be able to take care adopt her. And I find this little, let's, let, let her live with us. And the video, when she was a baby, the very day, was, re was recorded. He went ahead to play the video of when Ajoke was found as a baby. In the video dated back to May 12, 1995, the late cleric's attention was called to an abandoned baby by the streets opposite the church. Showing documents, T.B. Joshua took the baby to the police station, but they begged him to adopt her. Five years after he adopted Ajoke, the Nigerian government asked that she be released to an orphanage. Still, he begged to keep her as his own. <laughs> Unfortunately, she has only filled him with regrets about her rebellious actions over the years. T.B. Joshua said that if not for Ajoke, he would have adopted many more children, but she proved that adoptive children are very dangerous. If not because I met this girl, I would have had thousands of adopted child. But I warn you, they are very dangerous. If I'm talking to you, let us see. If not, it's a joker is a blessing to my life. Why? If not because I met this lady, I would have adopted one million of them. The Synagogue Church of All Nations founder called her an ungrateful child who is now destroying the lives of people in the church, including a boy from Ghana named Loison. The boy says he is not returning to Nigeria because Ajoke texts him saying she can't sleep without him, wants to marry him, is ready to die for him, and wants to be his girlfriend. Also, Ajoke was allegedly stealing from the female house and giving the money to boys. So, in order for her not to continue damaging his precious name and the church's reputation outside, T.B. Joshua yanked Joshua from her name, hence Ajoke God's will. In the video, the church claims that when Ajoke was 20 years old, she absconded on August 4, 2015. In a police report, they claimed she sneaked out with a male friend to an unknown location and was not seen since then. If anything, many people who have watched the video evidence claim that it proves Ajoke's story where she complained of being humiliated constantly and reminded that she is an outsider. They asked that if the man of God treated the young lady very well, why did she opt to leave and suffer without completing a university education? Still not convinced by the trending video, many people insist on a DNA test. They claim Ajoke bears a striking resemblance to T.B. Joshua. However, a DNA test is more accurate in determining the paternity of a child. Some argued that if the church has nothing to hide, it should conduct a DNA test to put the matter to rest. 
While there is still the issue of Ajoke's mother, the young lady made no mention of her and neither has she bothered explaining how she found out she is more than just an abandoned baby T.B. Joshua found but a secret illegitimate child. In the meantime, Ajoke's LinkedIn page says she is an interior decorator but her dream now is to attend university, a privilege her siblings received from the only father she ever knew but she did not. At times, life seemed impossible. After sharing my story, I dared to hope that perhaps I could go to university and finally begin my life in a country where I fully belong and I am accepted. She told BBC. Ray Renchen Holmes, one of TB Joshua's former disciples who also testified in the documentary, has set up a fundraiser for Ajoke's education. Ray is trying to raise £12,000 for her first year of university education so she can enjoy the peace and stability she craves. We are fundraising to make Ajoke's dream a reality and pay for her first year of university fees. Currently, Ajoke has no financial means to support herself. She wants to attend university in a country outside of Nigeria where she feels safe. Ray wrote, the former disciple explained that the fundraiser cannot erase Ajoke's harrowing experiences but can give her a better future. Any support means more than we can put into words. The wounds inflicted have been deep. This fundraiser cannot change Ajoke's past but can be a path to a different future, Ray explained. Just before the BBC documentary aired, precisely in September of 2023, there was another crowdfunding for Ajoke in JustGiving.com, where medical funds were being raised for her. Ajoke is currently in urgent need of healthcare and professional attention. Without any family or support and unable to earn, she has been living on the streets and is in desperate need of professional help. All monies raised here will go directly to the hospital she is currently admitted to in Ghana and will pay for 8 weeks of her treatment. Ray wrote, Out of the £1,600 that was demanded, only £360 was raised. While some people have no problem giving, others have viewed the fundraisings as a red flag. Some insist making money off her appearance on the BBC documentary was a joker's plan all along, poking more holes in the credibility of her story. Is she a fraud like her alleged father exposed her to be or is she telling the truth? Many people are reacting on social media after all these revelations. Reacting on X, one user wrote, The same child TB Joshua picked abandoned by the roadside, cleaned up, fed and went as far as training her in a British school, ended up on world's shabby scandalous documentary against the same man who gave her life. Ajoke God's Will Joshua is a typical example of an evil child. Reasons why many people avoid adoption. Another added, So, you picked up an abandoned child and the first thing you do is to obtain a passport for her and give her your last name. Then, when she decided to leave, you removed your last name from her passport and then put her real name, Ajoke God's Will. How did you know her real name? One reacted and wrote, whether Ajoke God's will Joshua is the daughter or not, molestation and demonic activities took place. TB Joshua is an evil man, evil supporting evil. Also reacting, one wrote, This is actually exposing Synagogue Church of All Nation and TB Joshua. How can you do this to your child, exposing them in public? She says the prophet never loved her. Your adopted child is your legal child. They have the same status as any of your legal biological children. This is terribly failed PR. One added. This is why man of God TB Joshua is exceptional among all. Always has alibi against evil tongue. A man with a vision that started filming himself when he was nothing. Hmm. Will Ajoke be making another appearance to back up her claim as late TB Joshua's child? Be sure we'll be following the story closely, so don't forget to subscribe. What do you think about the Synagogue Church of All Nations side of the story? Are you just as confused as the rest of the people following this shocking relationship? We all know documents can be forged. Do you believe Synagogue Church of All Nations claim that Ajoke was an abandoned baby adopted by the late TB Joshua? Or do you agree with millions of Nigerians that Ajoke is the late cleric's carbon copy and only a DNA test can prove that wrong? I was seeing Ajoke every day in the church. If she was beaten, if she was in pain, if she was in any 
uncomfortable situation I should have known. If Ajoke's mother is still alive, do you agree she is a crucial witness to this paternity scandal? Do you believe Ajoke left Synagogue Church of All Nation at her own free will or was she thrown out for reasons she explained? Finally, what do you think of the fundraiser set up for Ajoke? Could that have been the reason she was featured in the BBC documentary? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.